So here we are with a nice young black lab, uh, really nice boy, just typical young dog, exuberant, pulling on the leash, a little bit of jumping up, not very attentive at all. Uh, spent a few seconds here getting him used to the collar and finding a level that he could actually feel. And then once he could feel it, I actually start to associate it with treats here. So found a level he could feel, I'm tapping the collar and you can hear that noise in the, back, in the background there. That's an indicator of when I'm pushing the button. And so I'm tapping and following up with the use of treats. And this is helping him create a very positive association with his first experience with the remote collar. So he's feeling sensation and getting a treat right away. You can see nice wagging tail and nice attitude here. We're using a level that's perceptible to him, but obviously not overwhelming. Now here I'm creating a little more distance between myself and the dog, so I'm starting the very beginning work of a recall, teaching the dog to come when called. And that was cute. He offered some behaviors there. He's a doll. Now there, when he looks away, I regain his attention. And again, we're following it up with treats. So we're teaching him the sensation means to pay attention to us, come back, and of course there's going to be a reward following that. It's a great way to teach a recall and to teach attention to your dog. And I just want to point out that these collars can be used in a whole number of ways, um, different than just as an aversive and as punishment. So the entire clip took about... Uh, five minutes worth of work and I edit it down to this two minute segment but I think you see a lot of possibilities with what's possible with the remote training collar.